If somebody don't tell me I look cute in the comments, I know I got a hater. Can I stop by? See you. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tierra Rose. You know how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Today I decided to do a fall inspired makeup look using the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. Um, very easy. It's the easiest cut crease you'll ever do. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, please continue watching. Okay, so my eyebrows are already done and if you want to see how I achieve this look I will link um, I will link my eyebrow tutorial in the description box below so the first thing I want to do is prime my lids and I'm going to use the Pia Louise base primer um, in the color rumor 4 I'm just going to take a little bit on my lids. And we just going to blend it out using the Morphe E20 brush. Okay, now we all primed, and this is just gonna help get um, so we have the best color payoff. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette, and the first color that I'm gonna use is mm, this one right here, like this reddish kind of color. And this is gonna be my transition color. And I'm putting this on using the Morphe E27 brush. Okay, the next color I'm gonna go in with is this brown color. And I'm gonna use the Morphe M330. back in with the first color so it'll blend like it'll be like a seamless blend like you won't see um a line of i guess demark i cannot never i can't never get that word right i think it's a line of demarcation demarcation i gotta look that up but you just want you don't want to see one color the next color you just want it to just blend in so you're gonna have to go back and forth between colors sometimes Okay, so for my third color, I, I'm going to have to go into the B8 Benefits. What is this? This is not Benefits. The BH Cosmetics Palette. Take me back to Brazil. Because I need a black color. And the Jaclyn Hill Palette doesn't have a black. So I'm going to 
going to use this black right here because I want my um I want like my liner to like go I don't want it to have a wing I want it to kind of like fade into the black the dark part over here so I'm gonna take the Morphe M506 and just like keep it in the corner over here and eyeshadow always looks messy until like the end trust the process with makeup it's just it's a process you just gotta trust it it'll all come out looking pretty good in the end So I'm about to show y'all the easiest possible way you could do a cut crease. And I found this technique um, off Instagram from a girl by the name of, I think her name was Alexandra Lewis. I'll probably tag her Instagram in the description box below. This saved me so much time. I'll never do a cut crease in no other way. So she just took an eyelash curler and just put some concealer right on took some concealer and put it right on the tip like right there and she just takes the eyelash curler and just literally put it right where you want the cut crease to go bam now it's not perfect, but it gives you a guideline. Like this saved me so much time. And now I'm just gonna fill it in. I think I'm gonna go in with this color right over here since this is supposed to be like fall color and I think oh I didn't even realize the names was on the back all this time I had this palette I didn't even realize the names was on the back so this is crayon apple so the first color that I used was called Roxanne and the second color was called chip and now I'm going in with crayon apple girl all this time I didn't even know that honey I, I do not read anything
Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the black color and just like bring it more to the edges. Now I'm gonna take my elf precision liner and just line my Okay, so I just applied my lashes and eyeliner off camera. Can y'all hear that rain? It's raining so bad. Now I'm just gonna prime my face with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. It's raining bad, baby. Okay, the foundation that we're going to use today is the Becca Ultimate Coverage in the color Truffle. Ultimate Coverage in Truffle. And I'm just going to apply this like kind of ghetto. foundation because it is very full coverage and I'm a full coverage girl because I just feel like if you gonna wear makeup you might as well wear it all the way I hate when people be like oh you look so different like first of all if you're putting on a full face of makeup and you still look the same baby fire your makeup artist you ain't supposed to look the same you're supposed to look that's why you, it's makeup. Okay, now we're going to conceal with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep.
I'm gonna contour with the Fenty Beauty Stick in the color Espresso. Okay, so my camera died, but the only thing I did was bake with the Airspun and the Laura Mercier in the color Deep. So I just mixed these two together because this one just be too light and it give me a lot of flashback. So when I mix it with this, it kind of give it the right balance. So I mix them together. I just pour a little bit of this in this, shake it up, and I just applied it where I put my highlight. So I'm just going to dust this off. I've been baking a little bit longer than I wanted to because the damn camera died. Do you like it just for me? 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 Like it just for me? Okay, so now I'm going to um, apply the L'Oreal Infallible powder I don't even know I honestly don't even know what is this color I done had this so long um and it's just like a, I guess a finishing powder I guess that's if that's what you want to call it and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face Now I'm gonna bronze my face up with the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. Damn, cap don't even get on no more. I done broke it. Get up, girl. When I'm contouring my nose, I like to take it into the eyeshadow and bring it down. Do a little something, something to it. My nose is big, so it ain't. I mean, I can't make it too small. It's there, baby. She ain't going nowhere. I used to be so insecure about my nose when I was younger, too. A lot of the stuff that I used to be insecure about when I was a kid, like, don't even bother me no more. So, if any kids out there watching, the little stuff that you insecure about now ain't gonna matter when you're grown, boo. You're gonna laugh at that. You're gonna look back and be like, I don't even know why I'm sad about that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of blush to my cheeks using the. This says Alamar. And since we doing the whole cranberry thing, I'm going to go in with that color right there, Oasis. That's pretty. So for highlight today, we're going to keep it in a little cranberry look and we're going to use the Kylie Cosmetics in the color chocolate because it's like a cranberry-ish. I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Apply some eyeliner to my bottom lash line. 
with the Stila. What is this? I don't know. It's a Stila eyeliner. Now I'm gonna line my lips with the ColourPop lip pencil in the color Creature. And then I'm gonna add the Tarte lip paint in the color Pillow Talk. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this look. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the